once again and we've got another homebrew review for you. This one is Harvest Bitter. It's another one of, there we go, Harvest Bitter 4.4.5, four and a half. Another one of Beer Lover 1983 brews. So I'm looking forward to this one. Got a glass here. Oi. Oh, I don't know what you use the cap these do, but I've been having problems getting these caps off. Um, not too much, not too much smoke on this bad boy. Well, let's go for a pour. Go for a slightly more aggressive pour than last time, because I know that one was meant to be uh, very fizzy. This one doesn't seem to be too fizzy. There we go. Quite a dark, quite a dark beer. Slightly cloudy, but that might be just because I've had it in the fridge. Um, carbonation, not too bad, not too bad. I'm at a bit of an angle today. You can see the, uh, you can see the top of the top of the pine. Right. Oh, this one's all about the malt, I think. Can't really detect that many hops in this in this brew. Very very malty. Let's let's dry some. Nicely carbonated, quite fizzy. I'm getting something of hops there. Hard to, hard to put my, my, you know, I can't quite get it. It's in my head, but I can't quite get it. But it's quite a mild hop, hop taste. Tiny, tiny bit fruity, tiny bit IPA, kind of. It's a weird one, you've got, you've got me totally on this one. Quite nice though, clean, crisp but quite dark as well, so four and a half. Yeah, this one you could drink in the summertime. I'm quite liking this one. Doesn't give much away, just says Harvest Bitter on the bottle. Um, so I guess it was done September-ish. Last year, perhaps. Yeah, it's all about the malt with this one. Hmm. Maybe a Goldings. Maybe a Goldings hops, I'm thinking. Um, Malt-wise, obviously got some sort of dark malt in there. Maybe some, uh, some crystal, that kind of stuff. Very nice pint. This is easily quaffable down the pub. I'd say this probably isn't a summer brew, although, you know, what kind of summer have we had lately? Not much. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'd say this is more of an, an autumn -y brew. As the name suggests, sort of a harvest time kind of pint. Look at that. Very nice. I mean, it's not that carbonated, but it's carbonated enough. You know what I mean? It's not a dishwater pint that you get down your local. This is a proper bottle conditioned ale. Um, and I'm liking it very much. Cheers, Grant. <coughs> oh, dearie me, pardon, pardon me for being so rude. It was not me, it was the beer. It was the harvest beer, you know. Anyway, Grant, nice one. Pinky out, and we'll see you soon. Take care, guys. How to drink a beer in four minutes. Shaman. <laughs>